Hi everyone and thanks for checking out another video. Today we're going to be looking at how to calculate the molar mass of a compound and this compound in particular for this video is H2SO4 otherwise known as sulfuric acid. And the very first thing that I like to do is split this compound up into the individual elements of hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. So as I go through and do that I'm going to split up the different components into H2 I'm going to split up into the one sulfur, the one S that we have, and O4. Now your teacher might teach you something different, but I like to go ahead and do this to start. And then what I'm going to do is look over here at my periodic table. As you can see, some of the elements that we're looking at here, uh, obviously hydrogen is going to be over here. We have O here, and we have sulfur there. Now, what we have to do is go through and identify the molar masses that is written and expressed down here beneath each element. So you can see, for example, um, when we look at oxygen, it's 15.999, or I'm going to round that up to 16.00. Now, be careful of the periodic table that you're using. Uh, what you're going to do is take that value over here, uh, and you're going to look at the different components and the different masses. So I know um, from my periodic table that the mass of every hydrogen molecule, and we're looking at this, this is 1.01, .01, but we have two of them here, so I'm going to do this multiplication, and I'm going to get my total mass of the hydrogen components of the compound, the entire compound, factoring in both hydrogen components to be 2.02 .02 grams per mole. So that's the unit that is, ex is expressed uh, for the atomic mass of every atom. In this case, I have 2.02 .02 grams per mole of hydrogen that is represented in sulfuric acid. For um, sulfur, I go back here and I look at this periodic table and I'm going to see that it is 32.07 and we only have one of them. So that component is going to be 32.07 grams per mole as well. And when I look at oxygen, I have four oxygen components here. So I'm going to go through and multiply that by 16.00, again, depending on what periodic table you use. And from there, that is 64 grams per mole. And now I have to go through and add up all of these numbers. So I'm going to put a plus sign so I can sum them up. And I'm going to get 98.09 grams per mole as my final answer uh, for the actual molar mass of H2SO4. And you can repeat this for many other compounds, again, identifying the individual components, the individual elements that are present, how many of them that there are, and multiplying that by the atomic mass to eventually add them up to get the final in grams per mole as we've done in this video. So if you have any more questions about how to calculate the molar mass for a given compound, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the How To Scholar for more how-to videos.